my intention is not to find out an answer. Answers are boring. So I think it's about questions. So as, a, as I am interested more in your question than my answer, because I can find myself through your questions. And maybe you can keep all the questions yourself. Uh, that's why I think, I mean, the first question I asked you, what is the real inspiration of a thousand projects for your understanding, is very intangible, ephemeral idea of, I mean, finding his own ancestor name in China, that kind of very simple activity and uh, project actually became a starting point, became a starting device to make a further journey to different practices. But what I, I mean, can find the most beautiful in this I mean, uh, series of performances is, uh, is the care by the artist to these individuals who participated in these performances. In one way, we can say that he's actually taking these 1,000 Chinese people to many different places like uh, Liverpool and uh, Spain and uh, Germany and Korea. I mean, those Chinese people who live in a very small village in China, I think never been able to travel this much. Uh, that's why he uh, does care of these individual participants and their voices and make it this whole project really complete. But uh, this time in Poland, in, in Gdansk, I found this project is really appealing and attractive for me because he dealt with the cultural difference and locality and social issue and those other issues he dealt with in his previous performances. But this time, he started dealing with this very important political event and political issues and very difficult memories even. But he produced, I mean, in this recent important political history into a very beautiful poetic way. Because the questions of, I mean, the most, uh, the, the uh, write down your, I mean, most memorable memory or, I mean, some memory which you really want to forget, those things is very paradoxical, but at the same time, it can really, I mean, uh, appealing to every individuals in this city who lived in last 20 years here. Have you ever heard about the word called political justice, uh, poetic justice. I actually really like the word of a poetic justice because um, in our globalized I mean, contemporary world, we are actually facing so many political issues and events throughout the whole global period. But sometimes some artists making a very activist, a strong statement through their artwork, like, like I mean, a propaganda type of artwork, but some of the art I personally really enjoy and like, and some good works actually coming out from that context, actually they are dealing in a very metaphoric way, a little bit indirect way, to approach it to dealing with that issue in a very strong way, but at the same time it comes out in a very soft, gentle, ironic, and um, poetic. Poetic expression can be much more political than being political uh, as, it, as it is. That's why I think this golden table, which uh, Lasnia Museum produced with a director, I think this is really amazing engagement with the local people, with the local history, but at the same time in a larger context with a global, I mean, world history, such as, I mean, the World War I and II and, and, and go on. All these, I mean, great mega narrative it deals with, but at the same time, it deals with very micro, I mean, individual narratives together with on this table. That's why I think Chan kyung made a new, new history <laughs> with these uh, memories, I mean, from Gdansk uh, into his work. Um, so, I mean, in a way, celebrating of this locality in a very interesting visual presentation. 
in European culture has very precise connotations. Uh, its uh, connotations uh, derive from uh, Middle Ages, from Osorian legend, and everybody knows what it meant for kings also and his court, uh, what uh, the round table mean. And my question is, do you, in your country, in your culture, have a similar context, uh, concept of a round table? So is this table a common cultural concept for Europe and your country, or is it just an allusion to the latest political history with the round table which we had uh, about 20 years ago? Which of the tables it is? So, I'm not expert or historian about all elements in history, but I think it's more, um, more um, let's say, so-called Western traditional idea and of course, it has a famous uh, Arthur's King Arthur's round table till this huge round table in the uh, United Nations, or just before in Seoul, this huge table for G20, this new ta new round table, especially. But um, it's a, it has very mm, symbolic ambivalence of um, agreement or disagreement. So. It, mm, there people had an idea, as far as I um, understand, in order to give all the same position uh, to be democratic. But actually the real reason is uh, because you don't agree. Uh, you don't find it. That's why you need to have this. But it is um, as a form, um, I think it's more circle. Circle is symbolic. Of, Perfection, or something about. Um, uh, I'm sure there are different uh, association of this. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe educated, maybe association. I think it's some different. This is my impression. But um, yeah, it's um, because the people will think about more Buddhism or. Um, Moon, or there is a, um, especially if I see the folk dance mazurka, I have to think about Korean traditional moon dance. Because of a full moon, you have well, dancing around. So there are different countries. So this table could be very strong um, uh, connotation or any concrete association in context of. Polish history, but this is my, my, my aim. So I, I love to have more open uh, uh, interpretation. So this is table, just table. What uh, does he really know about the history of this last round table, the political context of that table of 1989? What, what do you know about this uh, last history related Polish round table. So I had, I had a very, very abstract idea of the round table. I knew the, f I, f firstly, um, when I was asked by um, uh, curators or coordinators um, to do something maybe related to the uh, history, so I had a very abstract idea of, idea of round table agreement and goes the left Valenza. He was a very symbolic person. And I found out some, some report about this uh, historical agreement. And I found also some, some argument about some different idea of this historical contract by um, 52 uh, important people at that time. I didn't have intention to study profoundly and, uh, because I don't know the truth anyway. So my interest is actually more how people live with this history and how people uh, interpret this historical event. Okay. Or visual memory, it's also important. 